What's up, everybody? Welcome to Auto Art Garage, episode two. It's been a while, but I'm here with a gun review. This is a Harbor Freight gun. It's a 1.3 tip. It's a pretty decent uh, budget gun. I've used it before, before I got my developer's gun. Uh, it's about like 120, 130 after tax, shit like that. It's a pretty decent gun. Uh, but today we're gonna do an unboxing and review and test and all that good shit. So uh, come a little closer, Juan. What we got in the box, we got the gun looking all good. We gotta clean that up before we use it. Comes with a filter, the tools, and a little cleaner. And then a little cup for it. Nothing major, but it's a nice little display though. You know. So we're gonna go clean it and uh, wipe the bumper down and all that, and then we'll get back pretty to you guys. Simple to put this paint gun together. Uh, pretty much, you just get this little filter right here. Stick it right there. Up. And you're gonna want to take your thingy thing like this and just squeeze it in there. And you'll see it stick out like that a little bit. Um, all these come pre-oiled and stuff like that. So you're gonna want to clean them out with like lacquer thinner or something like that. So here's some lacquer thinner. I'm just gonna stick it in there. Spray a little bit out. I'm gonna go get my regulator from my other gun connect it on here spray the lacquer thinner out so it's fully clean and then we're gonna mix up some base and we're gonna see how this thing shoots okay so we're back we set up the gun we cleaned the gun we put paint in the gun all we have to do is use the gun now um, so we got this quick little bumper over here nothing special nothing fancy uh, I'm gonna start with like 25 psi to lay on the base I'm gonna just dust it on there wait five minutes come back and add a medium coat and we'll go from there uh, we got the fan all the way open. Oh shit, never mind. All the way closed. Now we're all the way open. Uh, we got the fluid all the way open. We're just gonna go on there and dust it on there. So we're gonna let it dry, let it sit for five more minutes, and then we'll come in and do a medium coat, and I'll cover everything up. And... Missed the spot. Okay. All right, we let it sit five minutes, now we're gonna do a medium uh, second base coat. Um, this one should fill all the primer. We'll let it sit for another 10 minutes afterwards. We'll do a quick dirt coat. We'll, like just dust it on, make sure everything's covered and then clear coat on. Now, let's go mix up some clear. 
It's all covered up. Let's go. Brothers, we are going to mix some clear. Clear I use is four to one. So we're gonna make four parts. We'll do 200 milliliters. Make that thing like glass. Divide 200 by four. That's gonna be 50. So we need to add 50 milliliters of hardener. Boom, right there. And yeah, that's it. That's how you mix food. Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. Welcome to all of our garage. I'm your host, Rafiq. Today, I'll be teaching you how to... <laughs> what if I fucking talk about that? All right, clear coat time. Um, first coat, I'm going to dust it on. Second coat is going to look all nice and sexy. So, let's get started. I'm going to hit it at uh, 30 PSI. Close to this. You see, it's pretty, it's pretty fucking clean. Not bad for a little budget $120 paint gun. <laughs> we sprayed it at 30 psi. We got a nice OEM finish. It looks like I used my Develvus gun. That's a fucking $500 gun. This is a 120 gun. Like, and it's doing the job. So if you're in like the market for a nice spray gun and you don't want to break the bank, go with these. Just make sure you clean it properly every time because they do tend to clog. Uh, besides that, check it out. We got a nice OEM finish for this Avalanche. Customer's gonna love it because I love it. Ciao.